checking out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? How you doing? My name Mo. What was it? Mo. Mog? Mo. Like you going to the mall. Oh, mall. Okay, yeah. okay, thank you. <laughs> and how old are you? 29. And what do you do? I work at a broker dealer as an uh, employee conduct officer. Okay, cool. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? For fun, I'm, I like playing basketball, going out, sightseeing. I love food. So I like going out the east, you know, shit like that. Uh -huh. And I like hanging out with friends. Okay, nice. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? In a woman, I like my woman kind, sweet. Of course, she got to be fine as hell. <laughs> I like my woman that look good. And then also, then she take care of her health. Okay. You feel me? She eat the right shit. She go to the gym. She take care of her body. I like that. Okay. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers? Just, uh... I mean, a mean woman, a woman who always angry, who got anger issues, and I also don't like, like, a sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. Like, I, if I feel like you entitled in any type of area, though, I'm, I'm not going to, like, it's going it's gonna to make me wanna, not want to be around you. Okay. So, yeah, it's like stuff like that. All right. So, we haven't got any pop balloons yet. Okay. You're the first of this episode, I'll tell you that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, with that being said, I'm actually going to switch it on over to you. The young brother about his business. Shorty in the green. And the red bone next to Shorty in the green. They both fly. And one more. One more. Okay, since we're here, we'll start here first. All right. All right, if we can have your name and age. My name is Renee. I'm 25. And Renee, why did you have your balloon unpopped? So I, I like your accent. Where are you from? I'm from Philly. I like your accent. Thank um, you. I like your outfit today. Thank you. Um, you're not my initial type because of the hype, but like I said, okay. I did like the things that you were saying. I like your accent. Very handsome. Appreciate it. Thank you're you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So why did we end up popping her balloon? Uh, just, just not really my type for real. Okay. Mind you, this is the same female that said a cat that was six three is too short. Now, old boy, is looking us straight in her eye. It is cool. He's pro he look like he's about the same height as her, and it's cool. Pay attention, fellas. Pay attention. Bless. This is a master class on presence. At the end of the day, fellas, improve your looks. He got all these chicks drooling. He commanded the room. At the end of the day, he's outcome independent. Either you gonna like me, or it's your loss. Bless. Outcome independence. I know I'm that dude. If you don't think. I'm that dude. I don't give a shit. Black. That's the attitude. She's <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. And then we did pop two more. Start over here. Your name and age. I'm Kay. I'm 27. Okay, and Kay, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, he just wasn't ugly. <laughs> I like I like what he was talking about. Um, yeah. Okay, nice. So now, why did we end up popping hers? Honestly, she look good, but I don't like chest tats. Respect it. Hey. I appreciate that, though. No problem. And then you did pop one more down here. Your name and age, and why did you have your balloon unpopped? Hello, Kia29. I Good, how are you? I'm good. I couldn't really hear what you were saying, so I was just giving you opportunity to, to hear a little bit more. Okay. But is he your usual type? Um... Um, he looks like my cousin. Shout out to my cousin TJ. Hey. <laughs> but we're an attractive family, so you're not yeah. ugly. Yeah. So where do we end up popping hers? Uh, she look good. I just ain't like the glitter around her chest. Oh my God, I had that. Somebody has told me that before. I was yeah. like, wow, that's very, yeah. but I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, somebody else liked it earlier. Exactly. They love my right. glitter, you know. <laughs> I respect it. I nice to meet you. No problem, too. <laughs> Uh, we we a cute family, man. Just take the L, shorty. Just take the L. She bumping her gums. <laughs> she, she refused to take the L. Bless. Is he a type? Yes or no? Uh, glitter? Uh, the last person like my glitter. Shut your ass up. <laughs> Why did you end up popping your balloon? My name is Kamina27. It's just a glitter comic because I love glitter. Like, I was actually going to wear some around my chest, oh, yeah. but I just didn't because I didn't have time. But. <laughs> Yeah, I love glitter. <laughs> oh, okay, but is he someone that is your type? Yeah, he's very handsome, well-groomed. I love the way he dressed. The watch is nice. Yeah, he is. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So is she your type? No, yeah, she look good. Yeah, I like a little chocolate woman. 
Thank you. <laughs> but I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't like the bangs hairstyle. Like, I don't want to see more of your face. Oh, really? Yeah. I just decided to do this hairstyle to try something new. So, usually yeah. I don't have bangs, but... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's head on back. Her pops called. Hey, yo, sweetheart, come here. Let me talk to you. You getting older. You ain't find no good man. When you gonna give me some grandbabies? Uh, I met a good man on the show. He had his shit together. But he ain't like glitter. So you refused a potential good husband because he ain't like glitter? Get your ass out of my face. Uh, what's your boundaries in a relationship? Boundaries in a relationship? Okay, let's start down there. We'll Fellas, ask better questions. I could tell dude is a good dude. But ask better questions, man. You need questions. Like Arlette said on the last show. To gauge and weed out the time wasters, etc. To weed out potential birds, parrots, flamingos, eagles, owls. <laughs> oh, you're first. <laughs> your name and age, and what's your boundaries in a relationship? Let me think. Um, my name is Christina. I'm 24. How you doing? I say my boundaries is like just overbearing. And, like, don't know when to, like, give space. Okay. That's, yeah. Okay. Good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> your name, age, and what are your boundaries? My name is Carrington. I'm 26. Um, I have quite a few, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. um, so, one is arguing. I don't like arguing. We can discuss all day long. Um, but yelling or being disrespectful, I'm yeah. not okay with that. Um, so, that's for one. Um... <clears throat> There's quite a few. I don't. I'm trying to figure out how to word some of them. So uh, Take your time. that's that's really my biggest one right now. Like I said, I'm in a place where I can't any form of abuse at all. Um, let's see. I do not do any type of infidelity situations. Uh, if it has to do with a woman, you can have it. Um, right. I deal with a lot of other stuff. It's fine. Relationships go through things. Women is not a thing that I will go through. You know, there's probably a plethora of more, but those are my top two right now. Yeah, yeah. sure. All right, but yeah. Your name and age, and what are your boundaries in a relationship? Hi, I'm D. I'm 27. I'm also from Philly. For real? Yeah. <laughs> I live in Collindale, not Philly, Philly, but Philly. Collin, okay. Yeah. Damn, that's it. <laughs> Is that Montgomery County? Uh, Delaware County. Delaware County. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. What was the question? Sorry. Uh, what are your boundaries yeah, in a relationship? Boundaries? Somebody that is not aware of themselves, mm. uh, and also to somebody that is not God fearing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Your name and age, and what are your boundaries in a relationship? Hey, I'm Tara. I'm 24 years old. How you doing? Um, good. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> um, I would say my boundaries. I don't like a man who is very like judgmental, who doesn't want to like understand if we have issues yeah. um who i don't like argumentative people like that get loud um definitely nothing like physical either right. um for me personally i do like move slower in relationships so um i like to get to know a person first so right. um definitely not like first week like we're staying at each other's house and you know that kind you. of thing so hey, I yeah i understand I understand yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your name and age, and what are your boundaries in a relationship? Hello, um, I'm Ish, I'm 28, and a couple boundaries for me would be like a guy that's mean. I can't do a mean guy. I don't want no no limit soldier. Yeah, I need I somebody understand. soft with me. Yeah. Um, so that's really big for me. Um, another one of my boundaries will probably be uh, having autonomy. Uh, we're two individuals, even though we're in a relationship. So just respecting what one another does. Like you met me in a certain way. Don't try to change me once you're with me. Mm -hmm. So that kind of thing. All right. Okay. What are your boundaries? See, with my boundaries, uh, I don't like a woman for like a lot of male friends. Like I don't like all that. Like and also, uh, it's really, I would, I, honestly, I, I got more, but I, I would have to like we'll get to know more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, no, you're so. good. All right. So now. With there's a lot to unpack, you know what I mean? All the information they gave. First and foremost, why Brown just standing like an ostrich? <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, that's the reason why I didn't like that question. Boundaries are non-existent when you that dude with females. Be a good leader. Respect your lady. Again, respect your lady. 
But boundaries is not existent when you're that dude. Just keeping it real. Redbone. Although Redbone is a cutie, that dress is extra whack. But that don't matter. Now, she said that she don't like a cat that's judgmental. I'm going to decode that for y'all. Judgmental means um she want to do what she want to do. Act single while she in a relationship. She moves slow in a relationship. That means that box is the only thing she got to offer in a relationship. If I give him the box early, I have nothing else to offer, in other words. Green dress is a rapper. She's masculine. Don't try to change me is the number one bird phrase. What she's saying is just like light skin. Uh, I want to do what I want to do in a relationship. I want to act single, but be in a relationship. Green dress should go ahead and marry herself like the singer Maya did because in a relationship, a man with means is going to require you to do certain things. And if you're not willing to change and adapt, you're just going to jazzy Jeff your ass back to the streets. Bless. Okay, and then one more. start with this one right here so um carrington why did you have your balloon unpopped for him he's handsome i like the way he talks um eye contact he gives a really masculine presence yeah. appreciate it so why did we end up popping her balloon uh honestly i just like the other girls better okay fair enough yeah. <laughs> let's go over here and so why did we end up uh having our balloon unpopped um, I had it unpops because I liked your energy. I liked the way you came today. You came dressed right. Yeah. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So why do we end up popping hers? Uh, again, like I just like the other girls better. She look good though. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's head back. So we do have Thanks from either one of you. Uh, yeah. Um, so what some things that you learn from like past relationships? Well, some things I learned from past relationships. Just uh. uh if you see the red flags, don't ignore them. Mm -hmm. Like when you see the red flags, take you know take take action, and then just probably dismiss yourself in the situation. Cause ain't cause honestly, when you try to like change people, it's it, it's just not gonna work. You understand them, mm -hmm. regardless of how, how regardless how hard like how you're coming off, whether your your your, your conversation could be innocent, your conversation could come off as you know you just want to help the individual. But a lot of times they just don't see eye to eye. You understand? Yeah. So it is not. You just can't change people. So you would say you gave people like a lot of grace in like your past relationships? Uh, yeah, and I you did. Yeah. I did okay. though. Yeah. Uh huh. I did. I used to give a lot of grace. Yeah. Okay. And I think you want to ask your your other question. Do you have any? One thing I noticed about this show is that a lot of these cats never been with a female that showed them high interest. That's why they can't decipher. This is what high interest looks like. These females. Are listening to every little word this cat say on some on a steroid type level He's trying to hard to build quick rapport you know the African female she made sure she told him that she lived in Philly too Redbone listened to his um, asked her question and decoded what he was trying to say to show that she's a good listener only deal with women that show you high interest period bless just for longevity purposes how would you prioritize um wife mother children like how would you rank them as far as a priority priority mm -hmm. for me personally wife gotta come first it's less wife because like if the wife ain't straight then the kids ain't gonna be straight you understand what i'm saying so like i have to make sure she got what she need she got what she need, then the kids, then then she could take care of the kids and all that. Though, like, yeah. So like for me personally, it's, it's God, of course. Mm -hmm. And then the husband doing what he gotta do, but then the husband gotta like, tend to the wife. Then we tend to the wife, then he can tend to the kids and all that. Right. So how would you your rank is wife, yeah, children? Yeah, wife. Then... Yeah. So for me, so it starts with God. Me getting right. Yeah. Me getting right with God. Then me, and then the, the wife, and then the children. And then mommy. Then mommy, like yeah. my mom. Yeah, that's what I asked. Like wife, <laughs> mother, children. Yeah, How do you I prioritize mean, those? So it would be, it'll be wife, kids, then mom. Mm -hmm. Mom gotta get her own nigga. Okay. <laughs> <You feel me? laughs> 
Seriously? Yeah, I like his answer. Okay. And no, I don't have children. I'm a dog no. mom, though. Dog mom? Better. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So I hope that made it a little easier yeah, for you now. Did, okay, did, good, did, good. Did. So True. That's an excellent boundary. Your female, your girl should not have male friends. No, I don't have children. I'm a dog no. mom, though. Dog mom? Better. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So I hope that made it a little easier yeah, for you now. Did, okay, did, good, did, good. Did. So I am going to have you pop a balloon. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him um first of all i love his accent i love accents like all the good <laughs> like i could just listen to him talk all day um he seems like he got himself like really put together he's really well groomed um i like the things he was saying um He's not, like, initially my type, but I liked everything else about him. So, yeah, but he's very handsome. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Okay. So, why do we end up popping hers? Uh, honestly, I just need to pop one, bro. <laughs> he did say he liked him, like, Chocolate Queens earlier, yeah, so I was going to yeah. pop after that because I want him to, like, have what he wants. Right, right, right. But, um, yeah, I understand. Okay. All right, cool. And that's another one. To the yeah. yeah, of course. Go uh, ahead. Where y'all from? Like, where y'all currently reside at? I reside in Michigan. Michigan? Yeah, the Detroit area. Oh, yeah? Not in Detroit, but around Detroit. Okay, okay. And then we know, she says she's from Philly, but do you live there yeah. now? I'm originally from Africa, motherland, Liberia. Okay. But I live in Philly. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, unfortunate. Ooh. Okay, why do we end up popping? They seem like they would be well together since they're both from philly and like she said he liked the chocolate queens and just the look that he gave her just now it was given it was given not me so okay all right well my chocolate queen come on up here come on up all right so any final questions between the two of you oh i'm tripping chocolate is right too leather dress she's a bird ring but she right and um shorty next to her with the the fro, the natural hair, African, she right too. Now, fellas, I'm speaking from experience. Now, you could get a lot of love if you like from up north and you go south, and you you know what I mean, and you speak different. You see what I'm saying? I could hear you talk all day. I heard that verbatim myself. You could have a lot of fun, <laughs> my young boys, but at the same time. You know, the chicks that throw it to you because of your accent, you know, they definitely not white material because it still fall under shallow. It should be focused more on principle based for longevity. Bless. Yeah, I'm straight. Okay, well, then with that being said, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Yeah. We got a man!